So then guys, prepare for some big wow news. The iPhone 16 Pro Max could have the ability to take photos at a 100 times zoom this year with the camera telephoto leaks that we've had in. Apple look like they are changing the way how all their cameras are going to be working, at least in their Pro phones going forward. And the breadcrumbs of this was in iOS 18 with AI as well, Apple Intelligent, and it looks absolutely amazing. As you know already, iOS 18 was jam-packed full of features for previous iPhones, but Apple Intelligence was only for the iPhone 15 Pro and the iPhone 15 Pro Max, but this looks like this will change for all the iPhone 16 models, and as I said, the reality of a 100x zoom could be also coming this year. This phone here, for example, is the Galaxy S24 Ultra, and this phone right now gives us the ability to take photos at a 10 times. 30 or even a hundred times zoom with it and Samsung actually make all their pictures really clear or clear up their pictures with AI inside of this phone and they're not the only ones who do it either Google do this quite a lot too Google for example with their pixel phones also have a five times telephoto that can go up to a 30 times digital zoom so obviously with that it seems like the Samsung obviously is better than Google's pixel phones but Google have a little party trick up their sleeve what this little party trick from Google does is say you've taken a picture at a 30 times zoom, the maximum what you can do, say, on a Google Pixel phone right now, what you can actually do is you can actually pinch and zoom in on the photo even more, and it might look blurry, but you can then enhance the photo to actually clear it up. In fact, you could do this right now with third-party apps on an iPhone too. So for example, this here is a Mickey clock that I took a picture of at a 25 times zoom on my iPhone 15 Pro Max, and then using AI, I can clear up that picture. So all those third-party abilities there to enhance photos and also better zoom capabilities, this could also be coming to the iPhone 16 Pro and the iPhone 16 Pro Max. And just in case you're wanting to know, it does look like we're still going to get a 12 megapixel telephoto inside the iPhone 16 Pro and the iPhone 16 Pro Max. It's not going to be increased there in megapixel, but it does look like the ultra-wide sensor though, this will be getting a 48 megapixel put inside of the 16 Pro and the iPhone 16 Pro Max as we can see right here but it looks like we might have to wait probably for about another year or so to have all three of the lenses or three of the sensors to be 48 megapixels or even more with the iPhone 17 Pro and the iPhone 17 Pro Max so you will have to wait for more than a year to get that if you're that desperate to have that inside of your iPhones going into the future with zoom capabilities if you want those more megapixels. We have heard already that the iPhone 16 Pro is getting the same five tombs capability as the iPhone 16 Pro Max but this time around the sensor in both these phones could be even better than what we saw before in the 15 Pro Max right here in this leak but before we all jump in thinking we'll only get a five time zoom in the iPhone 16 Pro Max this time around well I've got you some really great news we've had another leak in and it tells us here that the iPhone 16 Pro Max could even get a 300 millimeter focal length camera to put this into perspective for you the iPhone iPhone 15 Pro Max at the moment has a 120 millimeter focal length, what is a five times optical zoom. So obviously I'm not the best with my maths, but obviously if you did say a 300 millimeter sort of focal length, that could equate to around about a 12 or 13 times zoom capability or optical zoom capability. And then chuck in some Apple intelligence on the digital zoom ability, we could get even more zoom capability, what I want to talk about in a moment. So then guys, I don't know about you, but I get a lot of packages coming my way for doing sponsors and things like this. And I also just get general packages always coming to my house. And the great thing is that EZViz has this new EP3X Pro with two cameras inside of it. Unboxing this doorbell is super easy. And then also the setup is really simple too to get yourself started. Also, there is also a solar panel also for this doorbell. So this means you can have unlimited power all of the time. There's also built-in storage inside of this. So you don't have to worry about SD cards or anything like that. But then you can also sign up to the cloud storage option too. 
There's options also on this doorbell. For example, you can actually have the doorbell actually call you. So not just get a notification that somebody is at the door. You can actually set that up that it actually will ring you instead and you have to answer the call. And also one of my favorite notifications is the tamper notification. And this is quite unique, I think. So if somebody is trying to, I don't know, steal your doorbell to maybe break into your house and they don't want to be seen, you will also be alerted that somebody is fiddling around with your doorbell and you can get notified of that so you know that somebody is fiddling around so yeah i think that's a really really cool feature to actually have here and if you want to check out this ep3x pro from ez viz here then definitely check out all the details that are in the description of this video because like i said this is probably one of the best kind of smart kind of devices i've seen for a doorbell and yeah i absolutely love it and definitely this will be staying along now in my house now to detect all those packages coming in and not missing out on anything like that so moving on with zoom capabilities as we talked about already with wwdc2 2024 as we said apple intelligence came along and we also got some basic ai editing for photos too like the magic eraser tool but compared to others like from samsung and google for example this is quite limited at the moment you can only do like the eraser capability you can't move objects around or anything like this but i definitely think with the iphone 16 pro max and the iphone 16 pro i think there'll be more abilities here in the camera ability and i also definitely think that we're going to get say a 100 times zoom capability or even a 50 times zoom at the very least with the iphone 16 pro and the iphone 16 pro max because apple just have the tools now to do this with apple intelligence combine this with that increased focal length leak that we saw earlier this would easily allow apple to do this and you know i can definitely see we can go up from that sort of 25 times zoom easily to 50 times or even just say a 50 times but i would say in that i do think the iphone 15 pro max for example is still going to be limited to all of its ai abilities and the same with the iphone 15 pro so i don't think we're going to get any sort of better kind of zoom capabilities there these are going to be exclusive definitely to the 16 pro models and we're going to have to wait around to sell the mid sort of teams of september time for these to actually be announced and then launch very soon after and of course, there are many other AI or Apple intelligence abilities out there for the iPhone 15 Pro Max and the iPhone 15 Pro at the moment. What we'll talk about in another video, because they got announced at WWDC, but we haven't got them in betas just yet. So make sure that you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell if you want to find out more information about those when they come available to us. But with that as well, guys, it's time to wrap up this video too. What are your thoughts on this? Do you think Apple are going to expand their Zoom capability this time around? Or do you think they're going to still keep it limited and do you think apple should even increase their zoom capabilities or not let me know your thoughts in the comments below and with that as well guys it's time to wrap up the video so if you have enjoyed watching it please do press the like button like i just mentioned before if you want to hear the latest apple news reviews and comparison tools, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell until next time guys i'll see you really soon take care